So eventually, I've got a WT100 to play for 10 games. So we're going to play three games and see how that goes. Well, the game starts and we have our nice 50 second reload before we can do anything. I mean, I've never actually played this thing um, because, I mean, if you remember in my Q&A video, I was speaking about how I kind of went on and off of this game for a good, like, four years or so. So I never actually got one of these before it got removed. Um, this is in its nerf state though, right? At least I think it is. It used to be a lot worse than this. Um, how many shells does this have? Five? I think it used to have six. But we are obviously firing full gold because, I mean, this thing I only have for 10 games. Like, why would I fire normal rounds? 352mm a pen versus 276. Yeah. Well, we are now loaded. So that means that also the enemy WT-100s are loaded. Um, obviously, we can't use field mods on this because it is a rental. Um, if you don't know any rental tanks, you don't get field mods. Um, they are not accessible. So... Are you... Oh, is this guy trying to push? I mean, it appears so. All we have to do is just be a little bit careful. Because everything will pen this. Um, if you don't know as well, this used to get the E100's hole. And it used to be like 200mm thick. It's now only 80, um, so it did get nerfed, which, let's be honest, it should have been 80 from the very start. It definitely didn't need the E100's uh, hull armor. He had fun. Okay, well, that is 2k damage done. And realistically, we have not even done anything. Like, we've just sat here doing nothing. Another thing that we should note is that... Uh... <laughs> this thing's so stupid. Another thing that we should note is that this gets less than 1% camo all the time. It is never going to get better than 1%. I mean, maybe if you add, like low noise exhaust or something like that, then you could, but... Um, why have I loaded HE, by the way? Oh, we'll have to intuition it out. Should be okay. I mean, we've already won, so... There's someone pushing this way. I mean, probably the EBR. How long does it take for intuition? 13 seconds? I'll take that. Now, what we would like to do is to be able to get a clip on this E100. Why are we capping? It doesn't take long to clip this E100 out if we can get a shot. Why are we capping, man? For some reason, they decided to cap. So that means that nobody had a good game. Nobody. Literally nobody on this in this team had a good game. Or on the enemy team. So thank you so much for capping. I hope they had a capping mission. I really do. Anyway, we'll apply this so that my crew can actually get trained up. And let's us begin our next game. Well, we're now on steps. So let's see what we can get over this side. Obviously, we'll go up the top and hide in the bushes after another 36 seconds of reloading. Oh, what spotted me? Them down there. It's the one really bad thing about this tank. We we're going for a reload as well because there's no point. The one really, really bad thing which stops this tank from being just stupidly OP is the camo rating. If this thing had camo, it would actually be broken. But the fact that even if you're behind bushes, you only have 
enough camo of whatever the bush is providing you because you have like zero camo like literally zero i mean to be fair if they actually nerfed the reload not the reload time if they actually nerfed the like potential damage that the shells could do so maybe if they did actually remove one of the shells it probably wouldn't be that bad like the ability to actually clip out a mouse with this is kind of dumb and i know the fosh b can do it but you have a fully traversable turret it doesn't it, it doesn't seem fair can the fosh b do it i don't even remember how much like potential clip damage that can do because obviously this can do 2.8 and if you high roll you're up to 3.5 if you high roll every single shot with plus 25 percent so even if the mouse is using hardening you can actually still fully clip it if you get lucky and to high roll to get 3k it's not too bad like you could probably do that in most clips but like this thing is so just big and such a big target with zero armor and zero camo that i feel like if you just removed one of the shells it would actually be fine and it could come back into the game for <laughs> i honestly wouldn't even care He had fun. Go for a reload again. Another thing about this tank as well is that you can actually afford to be this far back because it gets insanely good accuracy. And considering that you do have that, you know, autoloader, even if you miss a shell, it doesn't feel as bad. Okay. I mean, we got quite lucky there, to be fair, that we didn't get shot by anyone else. But we can hide again. Just pray that artillery doesn't hit us. Okay, what we're going to do is knock this down. Try and give us a little bit more cover over that way. And we're also going to knock these down. But I want to try and knock them down towards that way. Come on. I don't think I will be able to, actually. Hmm. Kind of annoying. Okay, in two seconds, we'll be able to shoot. This also used to get a 750 alpha damage gun that you could uh, choose between. Which was just... Um, yeah, really balanced. Is he there? He's down in the dip. You're kind of relying on your team too much though with this tank. A one shell clip. Wow. Alright, you know what? I am bored sitting at the back here. We're not going to get anything else out of this. We need to move forwards. And potentially I can be one shot by this FV. Which is very annoying, but you know, what are you going to do about it? Okay. We are not going for the reload because we need to go try and kill this E4. We cannot get one shot unless he loads HE and high rolls. Which, I mean, maybe he will. I don't know if we'll be able to see him over here. I hope so. Oh, look at that. We're only just in his view range, and he only saw, like, a tiny amount of our tank, and we instantly get spotted. Like, I mean, it, it balances out this tank super well. Because without this camo, like, look, I have 4% camo. And if I fire, I have 0.7, even if I'm stationary. Like, it balances it out really, really well. So you just, you cannot afford 
go into their view range because you just get spotted instantly. What if I get rid of that and I put on that? That actually boosts it up a lot. I could then put that on it. Yeah, we'll put that. And now we have 13% camo, which is, well, heavy tank level. The thing is, I don't see why you would even bother playing this thing, right? If it actually got added into the game, that is. Just play the WT. You get exactly the same gun. Uh, where is it? This gun here. It is beautiful. If we add this to the comparison, and we'll also add this to comparison, let's say that we're only firing APCR, and we will also add in, obviously, exactly the same uh, equipment. And you could actually get rid of the low noise because it already gets very, very good ammo. You can even choose between the field mod on the uh, WT, but you could go for more DPM, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, since you already get a very, very good uh, dispersion at 0.27, but you get the same pen, the same alpha, this is actually a single shotgun, so you don't have to wait 50 seconds for the reload. Like you're firing every 8.8 .8 seconds. 560 alpha. That is a lot. Not to mention that you have a lot more camo. Like it's just... It's just good. 3.8k DPM. Out of interest, what does it go down to if you choose the other field mod? 3.5, 9.3 second reload. It's actually very good. I'd much rather have player WT Panzer 4. Than a uh, WT100. This I just would, and it's a tier below. That's WT100. Do I think it's OP? No, no. As I said, the gun is OP, but the gun is OP. I mean, let's compare it to a Fosh. It's hard to call this thing OP when realistically, the Fosh is exactly the same. Like you get 325 APCR pen, you get 400 alpha. Um, you're firing a lot faster. You only have a 33 second reload, and What's that? You have 400 alpha and how many shells? You have six shells. So you have 24, so that's 2,400 alpha. And you have exactly the same interclip reload. I mean, considering the reload time is half, yeah, I'd much rather play a Fosh B, to be honest. And look at the camo difference. I should really grind down the Fosh B. But yeah, it's hard to call this thing OP when the Fosh B's in the game, to be honest. But as I said, if you removed one of the shells and then added this thing back into the game, it wouldn't be a problem, to be honest with you. Like, the game now, especially with the uh, camera rating that this thing has, this isn't an issue. Which really goes to show just how far this game has been power creeped. Because considering that this thing was so broken, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it didn't have this camo. So maybe all that's, that's, maybe that's all they needed to do. They didn't need to remove this thing. They just needed to remove the camo and remove the stupid E100 hull armor. And then this thing was balanced. I don't know. Anyway, you have to let me know down in the comments down below what you think about it. I don't think it's that good. I wouldn't want it back in the game, right? I just wouldn't want it back in the game. But I'm just saying that if we have a Fosh B in the game, this thing doesn't really do anything that the Fosh B can't. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, and the SPG Mission Guide will be next week.